What's up everyone? Welcome to today's video and welcome to a room tour of our interior room on the Carnival Dream. We are on the Vista Deck, room 9945. So let's get started. Outside of your door, you're going to have this little, I don't know what you want to call it, but they'll put your room keys here, information you need to know here, everything goes here. So let's head in. All right, let's go in. So walking straight in, right on the right hand side, you've got three closets. This one, first one has your life jackets, some hangers and extra bedding. The second one has some shelf space, more hangers, and this is where we got some luggage stored. Obviously, we are not on day one of the cruise, but this is when it worked out to do our tour. And this one is a lot of shelf space, and I'm here. Hello. So continuing around, you've got stuff over here, sorry. And they will give you a couple towels, but make sure to note that they have to be in your room when you leave or you will get charged for them. All right, so also over here, um, they have a couple of glasses and bottled water. Now, if you are not a returning cruiser, it is $4.25 for this bottle of water. So if you do not plan to drink it. If you've got your red card or higher, it's free. Right, but otherwise, don't touch it. If you have the Cheers package, the smaller bottles of water that are this size, come with it. Good morning, future Lena here. So something I did forget to show you guys in this video was the safe and the refrigerator. So it's actually located underneath that stand where the TV and the towels and the water was. The, the, you kind of saw it in a little clip. There was two, like a smaller cubby and then a larger one. And the, the smaller one is the safe and there, it is pretty small it'll fit like your passports your wallet um anything that you're wanting to keep safe um like identification wise <clears throat> depending on how big it is but it is really not that big it um maybe is about yay wide by about yay deep um and it won't hold like a tablet it won't hold your computer it won't hold your three ring binder like all of our paperwork is in um, there is space in front of it if you're wanting to keep other things in front of your safe, but it, it is small, but it is there. Um, below that in the taller compartment is the refrigerator and it is, it is very shallow. So, um, it's not going to hold like a full plate if you wanted to bring something back from you with you from the Lido. It's not going to fit in there. Um, it's about wide enough, um, this way. <coughs> storage space wise that it will hold a bottle of wine you can put some sodas in it um, and it did keep things cold we received a bottle of wine as part of our entertainment VIP um, winnings um, the very first night and a few nights later when we I went to get it and give it to the production crew to have for their New Year's Eve um, <clears throat> it was still ice cold. So the beverage cooler, it's not really a beverage cooler. It is a refrigerator, but it's very, very, um, shallow. So it's not going to hold a ton. Um, I would say it would probably hold half of a six pack of soda, like half of a 12 pack. So a six pack of soda at a time. Um, so just be aware. And now back to the room tour. Okay. So back over here, you've got a, over here we have a little TV. And it does come on more channels than the Royal side does. Yeah. That was really. Uh, we get Turner Classic Movies, Food Network. Lots of different channels going on over here and they actually do work. And so I watched Top Hat the other night. Yep. <laughs> so okay. I was happy. So over here is the bed. Now this would come with two qu uh, twins. But we did request to have them put together. So over here is one of the side tables. There's a little lamp. It doesn't move. So it can't no, have to stay there. That way it can't fall over and knock you in the head in the middle of the night. And some little storage. And I have one on my side as well. Whee! I just fell into the bed. And then over here, over here, you have a little desk area, vanity area with another big mirror. Now, I don't know if these are supposed to be lights and they aren't working because they haven't worked the entire cruise. But um, there is only one outlet in this entire room. 
So and, bring the cruise approved. And it's right over here behind the, the phone. And so it we, makes sense to buy the cruise approved ones. Buy a cruise approved non surge protector um, additional outlets. And you can, on Carnival, you can bring a, an extension cord. So we actually kind of daisy chained it. And so we could have this up on the bed to charge our phones overnight. So definitely highly recommend. You can find them on Amazon. Um, there is a 220V outlet over here if you need that. So coming over here. So this is the light switch for the bathroom. Now some cruise ships have the little where you have to put your um, key card in for to turn on the lights. The dream is not like that. So coming in here, right off to the left, you have the shower, and it has actually really good water pressure. I'll probably grab another. I'll probably grab another shower tonight. And over on this side is how you turn the water on, and over here is how you adjust the temperature. But it does get hot very quickly. So over here we have the commode, towels, and how you can let them know if you're going to use it or not so here we go again another big mirror lots of bathroom storage so we've got storage on the mirror over here storage on the mirror over there this is where normally the kleenexes go but i pulled them out there's a little trash can under here and over here they have little packages for sanitary napkins and that's where the tissues normally go and extra toilet paper and then back out here, I want to show you guys, there is um, a trash can and a little stool. That's our fan. You are allowed to bring a fan in on um, Carnival as long as it is 12 inches or less. And um, I, I recommend doing so. Yeah, because it's come in handy a couple times when it's been really humid. Like, And this morning we both woke up kind of sweaty. Sweating. So we probably should have turned the fan on last night, but... We just plug it into the extension cord and let it go. We put it, this particular one, we got it, what, Dollar General? Yeah. Last summer. Yeah. And it fit perfectly inside of our carry-on. And so we just sucked it in the carry-on and went on with that. So, that was our room tour of an interior cabin on the Vista deck in room 9445 on the Carnival Dream. Something to note about this room, actually, it's in a really great place. Um, location wise, um, to the Lido. Literally, if we go out the steps and up, the Lido deck, which is food, is right above us. 100% would do this room again, um, just for the proximity to the food. So, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.